and Walker hype is at fever pitch right now as global productivity levels plummet to all-time lows. And Yoshi P and team notes this and they're fanning the flames with their latest teasers of what is to come. Here's a super quick video on what's coming to G-Post and what I think might be the most hilarious mount I've ever set my eyes on. First up, the JP Final Fantasy XIV Twitter teased what it seems to be new templates and functionality coming to G-Post in Endwalker. They seem to have expanded the G-Post tool to include more stickers, and they shared this really adorable picture where you can see the Major General Shark minions to the left of the screen, and what seems to be sticker reactions placed on top of players' heads to convey shock or surprise. It's reminiscent of those stickers you get to place on your Instagram stories or photos. They definitely are keen to expand the sticker functionality, because they teased another photo of a bard playing a violin with what seems to be user placed graphics of musical notes and various emoticons. And they are even exploring creative ways for you to frame your shot with this coaster template that was being shared. Now your warrior of light can be a social influencer in Eorzea itself, appearing on coasters all across the bars and cafes of Eorzea. But jokes aside, the vintage treatment and effect here is really neat. And I'm really curious to see what other templates they have up their sleeves. The community is already creative enough when it comes to G-Posts, but with all these added tools, I think the possibilities are limitless. g posts is already a legit endgame hobby, just look at Sakaguchi-san, and I think the team is really smart to recognize that and to give us more functionality. But what's even better to me is they teased a new Endwalker mount on Instagram and what seems to be a Paisa mount. When I saw the video, I definitely choked on my coffee. It just seems so utterly comical, especially with the Lala file hanging onto the Paisa mount for his dear life. It's almost like you don't expect something this heavy to fly, but when it took off in the air, I just lost it. How can its tiny flabby limbs keep it up in the air? And I think that's what makes it the funniest mount I've ever seen. And I'm so glad I'm a Lala fell because I guess the light body weight does help in ensuring I cling on to the mount. And the comments generally seem to love it. People like Lawless are very happy that we can get to own our very own Totoro in Final Fantasy XIV. Jman500's comment gave me a lot of food for thought. He asked, how will bigger races ride it? Can you imagine a max height Rogadin riding this? And this thing taking off in the air, it will be hilarious. It's unclear how this mount will be obtained, whether it's a mock station mount, MGP mount, but regardless, I think this is hands down the most amusing mount I've ever seen in Final Fantasy XIV. Can't wait for it to be added to the game. The updates from the Final Fantasy XIV team is relentless, them posting artwork, 1.0 trailers, teasers as we enter the final 48 hour stretch. I honestly cannot wait, my productivity outside of the game is at all time career low. I just wish there's a way to fast forward time. Make sure to hit the subscribe button on this channel, naturally there'll be more Endwalker news and content coming from me in the road ahead. A shout out to my Patreon subscribers, thanks for keeping the channel alive, and a big thank you to you for watching the video, I will see you on the moon.